There we go. Hi right, everyone, this is kind of going to be a test game, it may not be uploaded. Playing Dragapult here. Here's the list. Playing the 2-2 of Clefable for the energy lock, Giratina for a bit more, single dead NA, uh, Little Zigzagoon Ping, 4-4 four, four on the Dragapult, Cheeky Crobat, a couple of reset stamp, scoop up net, quick ball, switch, there are four hammers. Single KOX Swell, Team Grunt, extra switch there from the Bird Keeper, uh, Triple Marnie, going through into a double horror. Yeah, that's it, let's get into some games, let's do this. Um, oh, whatever, I don't think I changed anything there. Mainly playing this now just for the daily to get 750 damage out to get that done. Ooh. There we go. Playing against RX783. Metal, don't like the look of that. Oh, won the clone flip. Definitely going to go first, I think, on this one. Got the Mega Mewtwo. I've got double Dragapult start. And the full Clefairy line, but no search or draw cards, which I don't like. Uh, kind of regretting putting that second one down. Could have used that to research for the for the V Max. He said level X then. Oh, I like that as a start for them. That's always good to see. Just a single robot. Facebook attacking me now. What do you want? Okay, just a mate sending me a picture. Okay, it's ADP. Don't know if that's better or worse for us here. Like the artwork on that. <clears throat> Went for double ADP, so had a chance there to Malo and Lana to swap. Oh, I suppose this this deck wouldn't play Malo and Lana, but the Crobat's gonna be probably gonna be stuck. Oh, they're gonna. Oh, excuse me. Oh, probably gonna be um digging. Oh, there's a switch. Uh, metals in a discard. Uh, there's the research taken away. Boss. Really good start from my opponent here. Guru's out. Possibly going to look to Primate Wisdom now. There it is. As if by magic. Kind of sad to say, I actually got on the Dragapult train way after it was popular. Um, only recently actually got a 4-4 Dragapult line to play with. Decided to do it to play it with this Clefairy Clefable. Uh, I'm actually gonna... Ooh, I can grunt. There's not much I can do here. I might stall out, so if I... Mm. What I'm thinking is use the Clefable to put that in the hand. What does Grunt do? I put it into the hand anyway. Oh, so if I do that, put it into the hand. Yeah. Oh, it puts it into the deck. Oh, on top of the deck. Okay, well, they're going to draw it again, aren't they? It would be nice to have Marnie there. But I'm going to scoop that bad boy up, play him down again just to apply some kind of pressure. And then I'm going to switch up. Now I'm tempted to switch him up and start hitting him. Because it will stop him from being able to metal saucer as well. I'm probably just going to go with that. I don't really have anything else here. I'm just going to bite. Boom. Bit sad. Bit sad to be biting. Would have preferred another energy attachment and a 130 or at least uh, a shred. Okay, opponent's playing a bit slower now. Okay, there's Primate Wisdom. I suppose that's actually the card that they wanted that they put back. Do you know, that might have been... I mean, it doesn't go on top of the deck, does it? Oh, it does. It goes on top of the deck. So that actually might have really slowed them down if they were expecting a certain kind of draw and then they didn't get that. Or they were... Ex or they were the added card meant that they didn't get a new card out of it, which would be this card here, this first one. So that... Might have been a pretty good slowdown. Um, hmm. Options here. I can team yell grunt that and save this. 
I might do that actually. Get rid of that. I'm just going to slow play this a little bit. Oh, obviously I've got the research, which I'm liking. I don't like the idea of getting rid of the fables. I don't know how many more in the deck. I mean, there should be at least one more in the deck, but it could be prized. Also, it would kill off a scoop-up net, which is a problem. Because there's one there. I don't want to kill off all the scoop-up nets too quickly. There's a tag called. They just want to shuffle the deck. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. They just want to get rid of the tag call because of Amani and put it back in the deck. They've got nothing that we really want. There's a Primate Wisdom once again. Now, obviously, my opponent knows that I've got Cofebo in the hand, so they don't want to put the energy into the active spot. Because Clefable only works for the active spot. Intrepid Sword. Oh, there's one. Right, well, that's going into the hand, isn't it? Ah, there's my big V. So that's actually all right, because I can do that now. Uh, put that, oh, sorry, back on top of the deck. Actually, yeah, bye. Uh, and then I'm just going to research that away. Um, oh, my dear. Oh, dearie me, that is not what they wanted to see, was it? 130 plus 60 is 190. I can put damage on that and get it ready to get slapped. I can't, yeah, yeah, why not? Am I going to need a third Dragapult? Probably not. But I can use this, see what's in the deck. Oh, they scooped. Nice. And that's a nice tasty win. We're going to take that all the way to the bank. Good win. Good win. All right, game number two coming up. PKR 77777. Only five sevens, not seven second sevens. I like the mind games there. Oh, shoot. Okay. Your opponent's active Pokemon's confused. Huh, <sighs> okay. You're confused. I'm confused. We're all confused. Right, well I can turn around and get him out of the app spot. Have got a switch. Um do I want to use the Denny this turn? Oh watch I've air balloon. Right, I don't love Bird Keeper. Let's see what we got here. We've got three of them. Two of them. Okay, I think all the Pokemon are in the deck. Hmm. Missing one crushing hammer. Missing a communication. Cool. Obviously, I'm going to get the big man because we want him. Slap him down. Um. I'm just going to get to Danny at some point. I may as well. If I switch for him, okay, there's no other tools in the deck, so I can put him up. I can do that. Um, what do I do? I communication and save the crushing hammer uh, by getting a crowbar, I should say. Mm, that is a potential choice to be made. A crushing hammer. Ah, uh, what well, I know what you're asking yourself is crushing hammer really worth it? And the answer is yes. That's how highly, particularly in this deck, where a crushing hammer is a big difference between winning and losing. Uh, still no energy. Do you know what? This is quite cool. I can save the old Dragapult here. And we can dig for some energy. Um, uh, see, I'm going to lose a crushing hammer, which I don't love. I'm going to get the Clefairy out, just as a point of setting up. We like Clefairy being ready to pull some energy away. Drawing some cards, there we go. Right. Um, I'm going to check the basic one. We have a hand reshuffle next turn, which is great. I attach the basic one because I'm scared of things like this. And I don't know if there's going to be potentially dark Pokemon in the deck. Okay, it's Mad Party with Jirachi. That's interesting. Never seen a Mad Party Jirachi deck before. Oh, excuse me, have a little stretch. <sighs> Bottle B. <sighs> There's the quick ball. 
There goes, oh my god, he had two rhymes in his hand. Hot damn. Alright, he's got the turn one slap for 60. Swell. Okay, so I saved the crushing hammer. And uh, I didn't need to. <laughs> and I actually don't need Clefairies in play. I, yeah. May have dug too hard. But then again, how often do you come and get Mad Party? Uh, this is my second time playing Mad Party today. Roxy is a good play in Mad Party. That was a Dedenne, if I'm not mistaken. I can actually can check that. Yeah, it was Dedenne. Um, 2, 4, 6, 80 damage. Oh, he's lost two triple excels. Okay. So this is probably Mad Party. My theory about playing Mad Party is that often people will jump the gun and attack too early and kind of waste it. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Great, great game, bro. Thanks. You know, you, you come online and you think, oh, I'll play some really good games of Pokemon, maybe record them, you know, could get some people interested, maybe get some subscribers, and then you just play against people that just turn one scoop, like, three times. Let's do it again. Pult, the pult the active. Oh, I'm going first. I'm going to save the Clefairy. Oh, dear me. I'm boring myself. I'm saving the Clefairy because I want to see what they've got. <sighs> Turn it is. Oh, look, a Hooper. Oh, what? I thought I was going first. Well, I hope I don't get Turn 1 research stamps. Oh. Double Dragon Pole. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's have a look. Let's get me a basic out. Let's get rid of that Rainbow Rare. It's disgusting. It's awful. That's a basic dark. Don't like that. We'll get that. Drop that in. And we don't want to be keeping that in the deck. Or Marnie. I do hope I've got some more Dragon Bolts. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at that. Now we are cooking up some ravioli. Oh yeah, you love to see that. This is a good hand to have. What I'm thinking is that next turn I'm ready to do that, possibly, using the scoop up net. If not, I can use this to get out um, maybe like a crowbat and draw. So right now, see it's really tempting to dig now so that I don't have to do it next turn so I'm already in a uh, I have more in my hand to work with but I think quite often particularly me I will dig too early and then um, oh, what the hell energy spinner and turn it is yeah if you dig, dig, just dig unnecessarily and you just kind of run out of resources oh well this will happen okay <sighs> okay. Hmm, crushing hammer. Oh dear. Um because I want to be able to scoop him up again. I don't want to kill two. Although I really do need to draw cards. So, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I still haven't played the support yet this turn, so I can actually get rid yeah, of your energy. There you go, mate. Bye. When's that gone? Um, oh, that's such a crying shame. You have to lose a scoop up net. Oh, I got another one. Happy days. Happy days. Um, touch that. Right, let's start smashing some stuff. Max Phantom. Let's put five on. Six. So got one ninety left. Does he play scoop up nets? Not that I'm aware of. 
but one never knows does one. I might put one, oh, okay, I put two there, and then put the three there. Now, if he doesn't scoop it, that's going to be a free prize. And if he does scoop it, then I've only lost two counters, whereas before I would have lost like five peers. Okay. Ooh, free retreat because of the Dark City. Uh, okay, I don't like where this is going. Power Accelerator for 60. And he gets to put an energy on there because it was on top of his deck. Very good, sir. Very good. Uh, heads? Oh, you hate to see that. Well, let's just get rid of her. Let's get rid of that one. I don't like putting it on top of the deck because what that does is gives him the opportunity to actually get it next turn. We'll just sack off an energy there. Ah, oh, that is so annoying. And coax well. Now that might st that does stick him. Okay, he's he's stuck now. Uh, I'm gonna put that back in. Now the reason I'm putting that back in is because I actually don't care if he sees that I've got it. Whereas I want to save that because I do believe. Oh, it's from the actor as well. Okay. I do believe that what's going to happen is that um, I mean, it's on top of the deck, so it's quite possible that he'll play it, and then I'll be able to drop the Distortion Door and discard it, possibly even Team Yell Grunt, and just completely ruin the board state. Um, okay, the situation here has changed. 130 there, 260. Okay, sorry, I'm going to put five counters down, so that would put into 180. 280. That's uh, not going to be enough right now. I don't have horror energy. I might just take the KO there. Still got no reason to believe you play scoop up nets. But I don't want to waste it. So I might just start charging into this. Or, okay, I don't want to waste that. Let's not waste it. Okay, let's take that prize. Okay, got a reset stamp, super not useful. Tomb. There's that. Guess what's happened to that. Okay. Oh. Oh, Crobat for six. He didn't... Okay, he didn't want to pull a dark energy out. I would... Okay. Okay, well, okay. I keep saying okay, so what I'm just seeing is win conditions. So that become that went from two prizes up to three prizes. This, as you can see, is also three prizes. I'm assuming he was hoping for a switch. Maybe he's got the switch. He can't play Dark City, but oh no. I'm about to ruin your day, Kimasabi. Oh, what? Well, that's my fault for not reading the fucking cards, isn't it? Uh, do that. Yeah, good for you, mate. Touch that. I'm going to reset stamp his hand away. I'm going to do that. Draw. Get me the, the, the Dene out. Drop the, the Dene. Yeah, I'm going to draw some cards. I'm going to scoop up net that one. Crushing hammer. Heads, there goes that one. Where's your smiley face gone, bro? In fact, why don't we give him one? Hey, there we go. Aren't we happy? Uh, okay. Wish I had a zigzagoon. Okay, is it going to be worth just slapping this one and then looking for a two prize? I haven't used, oh, I've got one boss. Um, five counters on there actually makes him a KO opportunity. How many scoop up nets? We've used all four. Okay, so this is dead weight now. Tempted to swap into that. 
because it sets up KOs, but I don't think we need to. The whole, the way that this deck works against Eternatus is all about the energy denial. Okay, let's put down the hide energy there. Crushing hammers are used. Mana, okay. Oh, he does play scoop up nets. So he was unfortunate. He must only play like two or three. Oh, and switches. Okay, you're going to hit me for 60, bro. Maybe I should have hit him. Okay. Draw. Distortion door. Yep. Do I want to mine his hand away? That he's got? Yeah, go on. Okay. That was... Uh, really fucking shit. Moon. Okay, I'm still going. I'm still going. I'm going to max Phantom there. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, he's going to die. That's three prizes. He's currently stuck. How many? Two hide energies done. What's he doing now? Is he looking for the switch? Do I still have a boss? I still have a boss. Somewhere. Somewhere, somehow, there is a boss. Ooh, Marnied. Um, that's going to dig me into more cards, which is great. There's the boss. Okay. So, new strategy uh, is to boss up the Crobat and kill that. And that's GG's. Yeah, I don't think there's any way you could have won that. Boom. There's that achieved. Good, good stuff. Did a lot of damage in that game. MVP, of course. I've had a doubt 750 damage. Great dub, great win. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Hope you enjoyed um, the content, etc. etc. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stop it now.